okay so let's take a look at how you can find limits in salesforce organization account so whenever you create account you have some specific limits with that and we will try to find that with apex code so what we'll do is we will open developer console and once opened we will open this debug menu and then execute anonymous window okay if there is any code remove that and then type in four and here we type in oak limit o then colon oak limits dot get all okay so once we have all the limits set our next thing would be to use system dot debug okay and here we use o dot get name so that object will be used to get name of that service and we also have to actually add our value and limit so what we'll do is we'll first remove this code because we want to concatenate and for that we are going to use some separator okay and we will again use o dot get value okay then again we will use separator and add sorry then add o dot get limit okay let me extend this window a bit further so that it will be more visible okay outside this for loop we are not adding anything because we will be just going through the loop for all the limits okay once we get that we will print it so it will print a bigger list on where the limits are placed in what part of the account so we'll execute this and find if there are any errors within our code and we will correct as per that okay considering there are no errors we will wait for log so we have execution log here that will show us some limit so let me take this query editor down and here you see list of all the limits that are placed within our account so how much we can execute what's the limit of that particular event and user debugs limit okay zero to ten thousand all are listed here so how many times you can execute will depend on this limit to so get the idea how to find limits in salesforce org with this apex code